Welcome back to Cracking Packs. Last night I uploaded a video and for some reason it got deleted. And I had already removed it from my files, so it has gone forever. But I'm going to go ahead and do another opening. I've got three of these Aether Revolt bundles. We're going to see if we can hit a masterpiece. I'm also going to redo the giveaway that was going to be in the, uh, the last video. I did uh, 36 more packs of the Blister battle bond packs and hit some really good stuff out of it it's a shame you guys won't get to see it but maybe we'll hit something really nice out of this and it won't even matter so let me get these things out of their home and onto my table and we will free these cards from their plastic prison Come on, come on. There we go. Ten. Twenty. And thirty. Get my table cleaned off here. Thank you guys for bearing with me. Thirty packs. Aether Revolt. They're out of a bundle, so these are a little more randomized. So hopefully there's a better chance of us getting a masterpiece. We're going to do these from the front just in case there is a masterpiece hiding in the back there. That way we don't gifted Aetherborn. That's a really good uncommon. We'll sit him to the side. Scrap Trawler and a Foil Ornithopter. That's a neat card. Right, pack one. Okay. Not a ton of value, but not a complete bust. Merchant's Dock Hand. And another foil, a Silk Weaver Elite. So are you guys ready for Theros Beyond Death yet? I'm so ready for something to change the metagame. Oh yeah. A Johnny Unyielding. That's our first, first Mythic and it's a Planeswalker. That's a good start. I feel like <clears throat> ever since Oko and that standard was, was about that everybody just kind of quit playing. My local game store actually quit playing all together and started playing Popper. And next week they're switching to Pioneer, which I'm I'm pretty excited for. I've got a mono white deck that I'm gonna run. That's five owed a couple times on Magic Online. I didn't want to spend a couple hundred bucks on one of the top tier decks and then Theros come out and completely change everything, or at least the Gremlins. So that's what I'm doing for now. I'm getting ready for New Year's Eve. Me and the lady friend, we're going to go spend a couple days in the mountains. Oh, second Planeswalker Mythic, Tezzeret the Schemer. Look at that claw on that guy. Looks like he'd rip your head off. Very good. Quick Smith Spy, nothing back there. These packs open real easy. Quick Smith Rebel, and nothing shiny in the back of that pack. Aether Tide Whale.
Hope of Gerhapur. That's a neat little card. If you didn't have to sack it to uh, prevent your opponent from playing non-creature spells, that would be really insane. Dark Intimations. I think I went to the pre-release for the set, and I think that was my pre my stamp promo pre-release card. Do you guys still attend pre-releases? I, th I think that's my favorite Magic tournament overall. I just like the atmosphere. It's not as competitive. You, you're, you're playing with new cards. You have to stop and actually read them sometimes. <laughs> there we go. Walking Ballista. We opened one of these the other day out of a Chaos Pack or a Mystery Pack. And uh, here he is again. That's probably the top top card out of the regular set that we can open. Really have oh, there's another gifted Aetherborn. I think he's two or three dollars. Baral's expertise and a foil gear smasher. I stayed up pretty late last night watching some Netflix. There's the uh, second season of that show, You, on there. It's kind of like a Dexter, Dexterish murder mystery crazy killer show. It's Fire Ministry is not terrible. And uh, that's a pretty good show. What, what are you guys watching right now? So I have a few episodes of The Witcher left. Just finished that. I have the last episode of The Mandalorian to watch still. SRAM's Expertise. Nothing in the back. Baral, Chief of Compliance. This guy is a terrible commander because if you're playing against him, they usually have a handful of counter spells. Nobody likes to deal with that. Battle at the bridge. Nothing real exotic so far. We have the walking ballista. A couple good uncommons, a couple planeswalkers. Ready for a big hit. Inspiring statuary and nothing. This is one of the sets I've yet to hit a masterpiece out of. I think that is, uh, that's my next goal is to hit a masterpiece out of this or Kaladesh. Life Crafters Bestiary, that's worth a buck or two. Cool art, cool card. Right, last pack out of the second one. Oh, there we go. That's always a good hit. Fatal push. And another release to Gremlins. Nothing spicy in the back. All right, down there, last 10 packs. All hopes not lost quite yet. Pia's Revolution. Augmenting Automon, Autonomon, Automation, how do you want to say it? Glint Sieve Siphoner. I'm going to try to get to that Japanese box of War of the Spark I've got before I head out for New Year's Eve. I'll try to. I'm not going to make any promises. I'd like to get it opened and uploaded for you guys. Peace Walker Colossus. Well, we'll see what, uh, what my schedule allows. I'm really bummed the uh, the video I did yesterday got, got deleted and I don't have a, another Fatal Push. Midnight Entourage, nothing in the back.
Rick Scar's expertise. Crazy vine horse, elk, deer looking guy. Only a few packs left. Solemn Recruit. Lightning Runner, Mythic, Double Strike, Haste, make a lot of energy. Nothing in the back. Come on, Masterpiece. Is there a lot? I don't, I don't know if there's much value in the set outside of the Walking Ballista. A handful of the Uncommons. Is Heroic Intervention in this set or is it? In Kaladesh, I can't remember. Green Wheel Liberator. At least Kaladesh has the nice land cycle in it to, to make up a little bit of the value. Heart of Kieran, Mythic. Aether Swooper, Foil. I think the Heart of Kieran spiked a dollar or so with Pioneer being announced a while back. Last pack. Let's bring it home. Let there be a masterpiece in there. Another battle at the bridge. Just a forest, guys. All right. We, uh, we always do a giveaway here for our subscribers. Just remember to be subscribed, like the video, leave me a comment. That way I know who you are and who to get the cards out to. And also hit me up on Instagram at MTG. These cards were sent to us the other day by Hermie Tig, one of our subscribers, to do the giveaways with. So here's one of them. This is a foil drowned in the lock. And then we have a the first sliver. That's a pretty good card. And this is one of the secret cards. So what we'll do is we'll flip it over. Whoa. That is a Mythic Edition Domery Chaos Brinker. So these are up for grabs. And you guys have a good day.